In this video, I want to show you how to use StoryKit. StoryKit is a free app that's on your iPads and it allows students to create their own books. Here's the StoryKit app right here in your storytelling folder. Click there and you'll click on new book to create a new book. The options that you have available are to take pictures, find pictures from your photo library, type your words, record your voice, or draw your pictures. So, of course, if I click here, I'm just going to take a picture of whatever I wanted to take a picture of for my book. Um, if I wanted to get a, book, a picture for my photo library, I could go on the internet, find that image, and save it, um, or whatever um, images I had in my photo library that would, I would use. So, for instance, if I were going to create a book about a cat, I could go to my camera roll, uh, click on the cat, choose that photo and it's now in my book. I can add words and type in this is my cat. Click on edit. Now I have the words as well. If I wanted to record, I could click on the record button. Now in just a second when I press record you're not going to be able to see this screen anymore but that's okay. This is my cat. Now I can press play to hear it. This is my cat. Whoops. Go back to my edit. It will drop down my sound right in there. So you can hear the sound um, in your book as well. Um, I can add a page if I need to, or I can draw if I wanted to draw something around. I could choose my colors from there. Say I wanted to choose this pretty um, blue color here and then I could maybe draw something but the problem is as you notice I don't see my picture anymore so I'm going to I don't want to draw around my picture because I don't know where it's at I mean I could possibly draw but it's not gonna let me nope so the only way to draw is to add another page and then maybe I could draw a picture of my cat change the color draw a picture change the brush sizes if I want to change the color if I need to put my eyes and then when I'm finished, I've got my picture and I could add um, more text. My cat is soft. Go to edit and then I could do my recording if I wanted to. If I go to edit pages, notice that I can arrange my pages by clicking on arrange. I can move these around here like so. Press done. I can go to my details, I can read my book, I can edit my book, or I can share my book. Let's say I'm finished. I've put my title, which is My Cat. I can put me as the author. If I press share, it's going to allow me to start sharing this online. If your teacher hasn't signed up for an account yet, it might ask you to sign in um, with your teacher's account. She can do that for you. And then you can send the story link by email. So you could send this to your parents or to your teacher. Type in their address and you'll get this link. And it'll take you right to that account. So let me do that. I'm going to send it. And then I'm going to go right out to my account. And hopefully I'll get it pretty soon. And I can show you how to get the link. And there it is. Click on it. And so when I click here to read the story, it's going to take me to the internet. And you will see my story. There it is, my cat. 
Now, if I'm on my computer, notice that I can't see the sound. That's because I'm on my iPad, but if I'm on my computer, I can actually hear the sound as well. So that's how you use StoryKit. It's a real simple app. It's a good app. And if you have any questions, just let me know.